Hello and welcome again to Chris's Caribbean Delights and today I will be sharing with you a recipe for quinches. Quinches, um, it's a cassava based uh, tart kind of with coconut uh, with, with a coconut mixture stuffed in the middle and it's baked on a on a tawa or you can even do it in the oven um, but it's made with cassava and it's made with coconut and some other ingredients I'm going to get my cassava and we'll go about cutting and peeling that cassava here I have one large cassava uh, this is what it looks like when you get it from the store but we have to break this down we have to cut it and we have to peel to get the the flesh out of here so we'll move to our cutting board and we'll break it down see you in the next clip so here we are with a very a pretty sharp knife one of my my new collections here um, it's um, Kijomi steel it's Japanese and cuts very easily oh boy okay, I have a problem I think I have a problem with this cassava but we'll see okay it looks pretty good part of it I think is gone and part of it is good see though it has to be pretty white inside this is a good part if it starts to get a speck it's not really uh, kosher so we have to get rid of those parts that are speckish that I have a maybe a little a little dark mark in it you have to get rid, get rid of those uh, those parts but for right now I guess we can use just about half of it so and then we'll go on the side once you get it cut into our manageable pieces and peel and get the skin off off like this pretty easy to get the skin off and we discard the skin and then we are going to go ahead and grate these guys, grate them on a on a hand grater to get it um, into that fluffy grated consistency. get a hand grater and you can grate it on the, the medium side continue and finish the rest of them and we'll be back for the next next step so this is the grated uh, cassava and um, it's nice it's soft it's very it's um, very mushy because of the the 
the juice that's in there um, we have to get that juice out so we'll put it into one of these uh, muslin bags or maybe a cheesecloth or something and then we'll just squeeze we'll come up here over the over the sink here you can see it already you can see already how the the liquid is coming out we have to get all that liquid drained out of there or else it would fall apart so this is good to make a start if you dehydrate this uh, liquid and make a good starch start your clothes with it or you can probably cook with it go and see how much you can get out of here and we'll be back with the next step okay we'll just fluff this up and set this aside in the refrigerator until we're ready to use it okay so I'll just cover this and put it away in the refrigerator until I'm ready to use it whilst I prepare the coconut filling. So here in my 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 pan here I have um, some unsweetened grated coconut. It's just it's the store bought coconut. Um, I didn't have the I didn't have a fresh uh, fresh coconut to um, to use so I I got I had a pack of um, store bought um, grated coconut so I decided to use that we're gonna experiment with this today but it's the unsweetened kind if you buy the sweetened kind you have to add very le less sugar uh, to the filling and if you have the unsweetened kind you will add the regular amount of sugar of a quarter cup of sugar <laughs> so I'm going to add a quarter cup of sugar to this but first I want to parch this I want to roast this coconut for at least five minutes and let it dry out and uh, and just uh, parch for a little bit and it's good for about it I'll let it go for about five minutes or so and I'll keep turning it so that it will get nice and dry and crisp and I can add the other ingredients which are um, at one tablespoon of, uh, of nutmeg a quarter cup of sugar two tablespoons of uh, ginger freshly grated ginger that's nice that gives it that nice pungent um, uh, taste and my red coloring I don't have a powdered coloring I just use my red liquid coloring and oh, you also need one of these um, it's a cookie cutter and some mixed essence mixed essence also we're gonna put in here so it's gonna it's beginning to uh, to toast right now we'll just toast this for about five minutes in here and then I'll be back now my coconut has been toasting <clears throat> for about five minutes and next thing we'll do we'll just add our, our nutmeg in here give that a stir in the nutmeg I'll go in with some ginger Give this a good stir in here. Get the ginger all in here. 
This has a wonderful fragrance. Going with our mix essence, so some millet and some almond. And now, and now I'll turn the stove off, I'll turn the heat off, and then add my sugar. Why I'll do that, because if you add the sugar whilst the heat is on, and uh, it's cooking, it cooks too much, and it starts to crystallize. And you don't want that. You don't want it to get crystals. You know, the crystals are really like pointy and, uh, and and a little crisp and hard. So you don't want the sugar to crisp. So the residual heat is going to melt this uh, sugar, and it's going to be nice and fluffy and juicy. Now I'll go in with a little, a little uh, a red. Coloring, I'm going to stir that in. The coloring is up to you, totally up to you, because depending on how dark you want it, how red you want it, and you can also play around with other colors if you have any other food, food, uh, food colorings. You can make it green, you can make it yellow, you know, just play around with it. But I'm going to mix this in really well. And I'm off the uh, off the fire. I just picked the pan up off the fire, and uh, we're going to put it on the side and continue mixing the, in the color and mix it. Continue mixing in the color here. Just make sure it's uh, all incorporated properly and. I don't think I need any more, any more color to be added here. I think it's red enough. It's nice and dark. So we'll set this aside and we'll get our, our, uh, our, I'm, I'm going to do them on a the griddle. So I'm going to get my griddle set up and we'll begin the process. So I just use like maybe it's uh, like two teaspoons of, of the coloring because this is very, it's, it's a very dark red coloring. So I just used about two teaspoons. So I'll be back when I set my griddle up and we're going to uh, assemble our quinches and we're making sweet cassava bread or quinch known as quinches and here I have my griddle that I'm going to cook the quinches on and I've set it here to 250 I don't mean you want a very low temperature uh, I set it to 250 and if you do need to raise it you just raise it to maybe to 275 but I have it I'm warming it at 250 and I'll be we're going to begin to assemble, once it gets warm, begin to assemble our quinches. So, we're, uh, we're up to temperature now, and we'll use our cookie cutter to uh, so begin the assembly. We'll take maybe about um, two, t two tablespoons of the, this is the cassava, the cassava flour. The one we cassava we grated and dried out, and uh, took the took the liquid out of it. About uh, I got like maybe three teaspoons of here. I'll see if this is enough, and you just 
press it down compact it into this uh, into this cookie cutter and use this, the back of a spoon to really compact it and press it down Once you have your thickness, depending on how thick you want it, you can now add the filling. You now add the filling, maybe two heaping teaspoons of that, just to come in the center here. This is all up to you, depending on how much filling you want, uh, how thick you want your crust. It's all up to you. So, but you go on a very low fire because you want it to cook, and you also want the inside. But though you have cooked somewhat the coconut already, but you um, you you want it to heat through, and then you'll have to flip it. Spoons, they're about. I don't want it too thick. Then you press this in. Really press the edges down because you don't want anything to be leaking through. So it's been we've been on there maybe about what 30 seconds or so trying to get that together and uh, so we once we've done we're done assembling it we're going to do a flip I'm going to wriggle this uh, cookie cutter off and then we'll do a flip. and brown I think let's leave it for a few so we leave it on this side maybe for about um, two or three minutes two or three minutes and then we'll check it and we'll do the flip okay I'll be back when I'm gonna do the flip for you so I'll now try to get the the cookie the cookie cutter out of here you lift and press just lift and press lift and press This is what we have now we're going to do a flip so that we can get the other side cooked hey you got just have to be a little gentle with it a little gentle or maybe your life will be better you have to use whatever tool is worthy oops and we can flip now oops 
here. Once you have the first one done and you get the cookie cutter off, you can assemble a second one. So you assemble a second one here. Compress. Press it all in. Just make sure it's nice and flat. Once that's done, we get the filling in. Don't put too much filling in. I don't like the filling going too much to the edges like I did on the first one. Just have it in the center. We'll just put the filling in the center. Leave the edges open so that it can all be sealed up by the cassava mixture by the cassava uh, the cassava flour Give that another two minutes and we'll be back. We'll be back to flip the second one. Nice and golden brown. And that's that takes maybe about four minutes to get it nice and golden brown.
I tried to remove the crumbs from around it because I don't want it to burn. Yeah guys, I wanted you to see what it looks like inside once they've done. So I'm using a serrated knife and I just cut this one in half. So that we can see it's nice and has a nice crust on the top. And oh, it's wonderful. So it's nice and it's crusty and juicy in the middle nice and soft in the middle so once again guys thanks for watching and quinches a, a dessert from Georgetown Guyana from a Guyanese dessert um, it's made of cassava bread and and uh, coconut it has a coconut filling um, the cassava bread is an it's an Amerindian one of the ori or original peoples of Guyana they that's their main dish and uh, it's been adapted throughout the country and now we, we have it with a we're having it with a coconut filling and uh, it's delicious Crisp, tasty, a nice cup of tea goes well with it. Once again, thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. So, like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, be well.